Hello and welcome back to Inform Overload. My name is Aaron and I'll be your host for today's video. Today we're gonna cover some stories that happened over the past week, including one regarding Selena Gomez breaking the SAG after strike requirements. And after that, we're gonna discuss how Trace Cyrus has reportedly been calling out OnlyFans models. And then we'll move on to our last story, talking about how 50 Cent hit a fan on stage. Stick around and let us know what you think about today's stories in the comments below. Jumping right in with our first story, Selena Gomez may have broken the SAG after strike rules. In July of this year, the American Actors Union SAG after it went on strike over an ongoing labor dispute with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, which coincided with the Writers Guild of America's strike as part of broader Hollywood labor disputes. These strikes have brought to light many incredibly poor working conditions many actors, writers, and other creatives have been made to withstand, with complaints far broader than just unfair pay and lack of residual payments, but also unethical working conditions and the fight for safeguards against unauthorized use of actors' likenesses through artificial intelligence. Actors in the US USA and around the world have stopped promoting their work, both in interviews and on social media, in protest. However, some just can't help themselves when it comes to self-promo. Selena Gomez, after seemingly doing a ton of promotional work to turn herself back into a Hollywood it girl, has hit a roadblock on that comeback tour. In 2021, Gomez was starring in the brand new Hulu original show Only Murders in the Building, and this job has obviously been a positive force in her life, so much so that she's decided to share how much she's been missing working on the production in the midst of the SAG after strike. In a now deleted Instagram reel, Selena shared a behind the scenes video from when the cast was on set together, featuring Selena rehearsing with her only murders in the building castmates, most notably being that of Meryl Streep. Selena captioned the post, quote, missing and wanting at only a murders Hulu. The post was live for just over 15 hours and went on to receive over 1 million likes, but those likes may be less because they liked the post and more out of shock. The video also racked up plenty of comments about how tone deaf Selena Gomez seemed posting something like this while the rest of her industry is in the middle of striking for their rights before she was able to take the video down. Variety magazine decided to speak out on the issue of Selena posting this video and according to them, it's unclear whether the actress had actually broken the SAG after strike requirements and rules. In this case, the rule used against her actions would include the clause of restraining members of the union from promoting their work via the use of press interviews or social media posts while the strike persists. In this particular case, Selena did not technically tell her followers to watch Only Murders and she didn't speak in the video. The only amount of promotion she did for the production was a simple tag of the official Only Murders account in the caption. Her deletion of the post is proof enough that she probably did not mean any harm by posting it, however, that may also just be a ploy to decrease the amount of hate she's been receiving, which seems especially possible since Selena hasn't yet spoken out about the incident or in support of the strike at all yet. The SAG after strike is only one example of an industry pushing back against the poor working conditions workers are subjected to. The reason it's become so popular is because it's in Hollywood. Currently workers are striking and voicing their worries about their employment across the world in almost every field. UPS drivers, rail workers, air travel employees, and teachers, just to name a few. It's fair to assume that that work often isn't a great experience for anyone except the CEOs. Our second story pertains to Miley Cyrus's brother, Trace, and what he thinks about sex workers. The lead guitarist and vocalist from the punk band Metro Station apparently hates it when women shake it, just as his most well-known song asks them to do, going on to claim that people working on OnlyFans are, quote, killing their chance of ending up with a good guy. I I don't know what Trace is really saying here. Is he implying that he, someone who would judge a person's employment, is a good guy? It's incredibly bold of him to make comments on what someone does for money since I'm positive Trace has never had to hold a serious job, seeing as he's the Prince Harry of the Cyrus family. He could just sit back, collect his allowance, and engage in his little vanity projects, being the least famous sibling with the responsibilities of a home alone 11 year old, just has to keep himself alive. Trace Cyrus decided to spew his anti-OnlyFans rant that spanned multiple paragraphs on Wednesday through his Instagram story, featuring such claims like men with morals would never settle down with a woman who makes money on the site, and that only fan models will often call it guys insecure just because they have what he calls standards. What he means to say here is judgment. He also says that women post to only fans in order to widen their dating options and get attention from men. That last part is true, but that's just the business of it. The bizarre rambling rant ended with Trace accusing men who pay for only fans content desperate losers. Not a great look to call people engaging in one of the only ethical ways to consume sex work, losers. But I don't think Trace really thinks too highly of women anyway. Trace even went so far to bring in his own personal perspective into it, saying that he sees a lot of 
OnlyFans creators value as strictly for sexual purposes and not being able to envision them as future wives, mothers, or loyal partners, which is horrendously misogynistic. He wrapped up the controversial post by writing that he finds this independent mindset of not needing a man to be an extremely toxic road to a very lonely future, ending the post with the claim that having a good man in a family will bring you more happiness in old age than OnlyFans ever could. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's true. This rant obviously did not go the way Trace planned, or at least I think it didn't, unless he planned to get viciously attacked, but I'm not sure what else you would expect after posting something like this. Your one hit wonder isn't coming to save you, Trace. Many people who saw the story called the guitarist humiliating, nonsensical, and ridiculous. Teen Mom alum, current OnlyFans model Farah Abraham even called out the 2013 YouTube boy lookalike, sharing a screenshot of the rant via her Instagram story on Wednesday, and lamented about the double standards within the industry, writing, if men can have OnlyFans accounts while being married with a family, so can women. Balance and brand is real, forget limited insecure mindsets. Trace responded to the post fairly quickly, sarcastically saying that he'd been quote, defeated by the most intelligent woman of this generation. Abraham ended the argument by writing back that, in the end, we're all adults and we can be on adult platforms. Honestly, why does Trace feel the need to give some blanket advice to every woman on the planet? Sometimes we can just mind our own business and not attempt to have control over everyone you feel you're entitled to have power over. By the way, I must reiterate, it's incredibly rich to hear this sort of judgment from a man who wrote Metro Station's 2007 hit Shake It, which is literally just about him convincing women to have sex with him. Alright, for our last story of the day, we are going to talk about how 50 Cent hit a fan on stage during a performance at Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles on Wednesday night as part of his final lap tour of 2023, and oh boy, for a final lap, he sure is ending with a bang. Similar to the scene Cardi B pulled a few weeks ago where, during a performance at a Las Vegas concert, she threw a microphone out of fan in retaliation for them throwing a drink at her. 50 Cent has also taken to throwing the microphone around, but with far less of a reasonable explanation. Apparently, 50 Cent was continually handed microphones that just did not work, and this clearly did not bode well for his emotions. The situation played out after 50 walked out on stage to join in on YG's singing, but as soon as 50 began, he realized the mic was, once again, not in working condition. He proceeded to turn to his side and absolutely pelt the broken microphone into the audience. The mic landed in a woman's forehead, striking her pretty hard and causing severe injuries. Sources that witnessed the scene told TMZ, who was first to release the story, that 50 Cent was obviously not targeting the woman. He didn't even realize she was standing where he had decided to pelt the mic. She just so happened to be standing in a bit of a splash zone. In fact, a source connected to 50 and his tour revealed that the woman wasn't even supposed to be standing there as it was supposed to be a restricted area meant only for crew and security. Still, not okay for him to be throwing things there. In fact, that just makes it sound like he actually meant to hit someone who he was paying. This also hasn't been proven to be true, and the woman could have very well been in her designated space. Anyway, the woman, who's actually a Power 106 radio host named Brianna Monaghan, apparently did not take this situation lightly, obviously, as she shared with Instagram a picture of the gash she suffered from the mic thrown into her forehead, accompanied by several bloody towels wrapped around her neck. With injuries as serious as this, it's not at all surprising that Brianna decided to go through with legal action against 50 Cent. Now, in contrast to Cardi B, who just had charges dropped in regards to her microphone throwing situation, 50 is now a suspect in a criminal felony battery report after Monaghan filed a police report right after she was hit at the show on Wednesday night. Law enforcement sources told TMZ that they believe 50 did actually mean to throw the mic at his crew in the production area and instead ended up hitting the victim, who was an innocent fan. Brianna told the police in the report that apparently 50 looked directly at her before throwing the mic, so at least according to her, 50 did actually know full well that she was in the line of fire. 50 Cent and his representation have yet to speak out about the incident, and I doubt we'll hear anything from him or his camp, especially with the charges against him. You would think, with someone as experienced as 50 Cent is with performing up on stage and going through all the technical difficulties that come with that line of work, he'd be able to problem solve a little bit better than this, but I guess this is what happens when people get a little too comfortable. Thanks so much for watching, and let us know what you think about these stories in the comments below. Let us know how you feel about Selena Gomez's decision. Isn't Trace Cyrus a fool? What do you think 50 Cent is going to say about this, if anything? Once again, I am your host, Aaron, and I hope you enjoyed this Inform Overload video. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next one.